Hey, everybody. Mark McDonald here, executive producer at Enhance. And I'm CJ, user experience director at Enhance. And we are here to talk humanity, our deep dive. Deep dive. Say it, CJ. Deep, deep dive. Deep dive video. Um, so hopefully you've heard of our game by now, but if you haven't, it is an action puzzle game. Uh, we announced a few years ago um, with a very mysterious trailer, but more recently we're coming clean with exactly what you're going to be doing in the game. And this video is part of that. Part of uh, what we're really excited to be able to talk about now is that the game not only coming out May 16th, but also a day one PS Plus second tier and up title. So depending on what territory you live in, that the Exos has different names, but we're very excited about that, especially as we'll get into uh, with regard to the user stages and the stage creator. But before we do that, let's uh, set the table here, uh, CJ. So what uh, what is humanity? Well, it's an action puzzle game, but let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted to wake up as a dog? Um, I can't say that I have. Deep dive video or not, I got to be honest. No, but I would, uh, it just sounds like a fascinating premise for a video game. Indeed it is. And that is the conceit here with humanity. You wake up one morning and you find that you're a dog. We have a job to do. Indeed you do. A disembodied voice tells you that it's your job to lead the people to the light. This sort of brainless, ever forward marching horde of humans. You must save them. So you do that. You're in the game. You're in the levels here as our as our little iridescent uh, Shiba Inu. And the people can, you know, on their own, they will walk forward, they can push blocks, they can swim, they can climb walls. But yeah, like you mentioned, they're pretty much little brainless drones. And that has to do with uh, some of the storyline that uh, there's what, 90 levels? That's right, 90 levels. There is a, a nice a light little narrative that hopefully incentivizes you to keep going through it but um but yeah most of the game is focused on these uh action puzzle stages and you are in there controlling the people the via these commands that you're dropping so these turn commands are pretty self-explanatory but you also give them different jump commands you have long jumps you have high jumps you can have the people float which changes their attributes they can survive longer falls and also fans blow them higher up uh, into the air later on you equip them with weapons and things are going on in the story that kind of lead you there and yeah things like that so the game is constantly adding new mechanics new elements trying to keep it fresh as you go along and then mixing them back with the elements that you've had up until then. So we'll go into some examples of that with some specific stages. Yeah, let's begin here with Loop the Loop, which was in our demo, our limited time demo, but is one of our favorite stages. So we like to uh, use it to illustrate how things work in the game. See us, you see us here guiding the people. Normally this would be a lot of trial and error, but really the only place that you can have them jump to is this area and after you do that you guide them onto this little that men's room sign is a switch well what is it going to activate you don't have to do this but uh optionally here you can engage the free look camera and see here oh okay that switch those lines are showing something that it's going to do so once you come back out of the free look camera so it's just like a little hint a little optional hint if you want to stop things and chill for a sec and figure things out at any time you can do that and here now it has added to the path towards the goal and so Whoa. the conceit Whoa, what of did this, the dog just do right there oh my god cj that's that's uh soul surfing i think we call it um i think it's called diving in the actual game but um we'll get more into that in another level yeah the dog can go places where the people can't and and vice versa but the the conceit of this stage spoiler warning the loop the loop uh idea is that you're going to create that loop of the people that so they're constantly activating those two switches which you need to create the road towards the goal here cj yeah i'm gonna jump this these people over this pit here and grab this goldie you got what it all figured out. You got I it do. all figured out. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, oh, CJ. They jumped over. Let me adjust here. Nope. Oh, still, still going over. Uh, oh, that's why that hash, the hashes on that 
uh, the block is a climbable wall. That's why that was there. The I mystery see. is solved. So yeah, and Goldie there being that that kind of Oscar looking uh, gold giant person, those are generally optional, but um, sometimes not, sometimes required to finish a stage. What are we seeing here, CJ? We're seeing Goldie rewards. So as you collect Goldie, you can unlock special rewards in the game. And sometimes that's skins for the humans. Uh, and other times that's game features like a fast forward or uh, pause time. Music selector. Yeah, that you can choose the music for the stage. So some of them are, most of them are cosmetic, but there's a few there that are like, you know, nice little add additions to the game mechanic kind of quality of life features. Yeah, and you can play around with the skins. <laughs> some of these later ones are, are pretty awesome. There's Looking. some wild ones. Yeah, yeah. So let's get into a more pure puzzle stage. So uh, a lot of the stages in Humanity, most of them have this this mix of action puzzle, but there are some stages that run more to one side than the other. And this is an example of a style of stage that is more, yeah, in the pure puzzle camp. So these stages, time is stopped when uh, the stage begins by, uh, by default. So you have to go through and place all your commands first, then you start time and you are powerless. You can't change your commands anymore in real time. So you have to think ahead and plan everything kind of through. And here is an example of one such stage mental block, which was in the demo. Um, again, trying to stick to demo stages so we don't spoil too much. This block, if you activate time, you see what happens here. Okay, the people come through, they push this big black pushable block down a bit, then they fall under it. Okay, so how can I redirect them now to push that block down and try to get it on that switch, which um, has that little, looks like a fragile logo, a little box logo means that that is a switch activated by pushing a pushable block on it. So here we go. What if we try this? We have the people walk, start to walk across that block and then they'll fall off. So here we go again. They start to fall down. Now we can fast forward via the little optional mechanic that we unlocked early on with our goldies in the goldie rewards that we talked about before. There we go. So now they push the block. Now they're pushing it back. Oh, wait. Okay, that activated the bridge. We're good to get to the end, but oh, shoot. We forgot one link up uh, turn command. So are we screwed? Do we have to start all over? Well, not really, because we have this idea of retry keep commands where we can reset the level, but keep everything we've done so far. So you can make tweaks, make adjustments uh, to what you had without losing everything. If you want to, you can do that. You can wipe the slate totally clean, but we don't need to. We just need to add in that one arrow. And if we do so now this time, um, we're going to link up and get our Goldie and we are good to go to the end. Yeah, I actually use retry keep commands quite a bit to experiment with different solutions and possibilities in a stage instead of mapping the whole thing out i'll map out maybe the first third and test to see if that worked and then use retry keep commands to adjust anything that i need to but let's say a stage is too difficult for me and i just want to <laughs> i just need a hint just a little hint what do i do mark what do i do you're weak, CJ. You're weak. Um, no, you uh, you check this out, which is um, our little uh, solution video. So every stage, we didn't want people to get stuck and give up. So every stage has built in a solution video on PS5. Um, you could do that. PS Plus subscribers can do that via game help. But in all versions of the game here in the pause menu, every single level has a solution video that you can start watching. You can stop as soon as you as soon as you want, like kind of get a hint or a flavor of what the first move is. And we show how to finish the stage, the bare requirements for finishing the stage. So we do not show clearing all goldies um, or any goldies at all. In fact, unless they are totally necessary to finish the stage. So next up, let's talk a little bit about the others, which are a rival group you'll meet in the story mode. And they're similar to your humans, but they're different. The two groups differ in culture and language and have never spoken. 
but they do have one thing in common. They both desire Goldie. They love that Goldie. A friendly rivalry love that Goldie. with the others. Yes. And as you can see here, if they happen to grab Goldie, he turns silver and starts walking with them instead. So you got to stop that, right? No, can't have that. Yeah. So this stage, winner takes all, is actually one of my favorites in the game. And it's set up as a uh, an escalation of this rivalry with the others. And it's a race against them in this sort of a huge, expansive level. And one of the more advanced strategies that you learn here is that making the people jump is faster than having them just walk there and climb up that wall. So spoilers. Uh, Spoilers a little bit, and I used uh, the Soul Surf move too to to scale that wall really quick as well. We're not going to show solving this stage properly, right? We're going to just no. We wouldn't yeah. do that. We wouldn't Never. do that. This is one of those levels you said earlier that you might have to collect a Goldie to complete. This is one of those, but I'm not going to do that at all. Instead, I'm going to show you the ending of this level here, where you're racing against the others, and one of the cool little tricks here is that if you happen to path your humans to the end and they hit the button before the others get to their button, they make the path for the others disappear, so they're royally screwed over. And here is an example of a stage where it has now boiled over, so this is going to get into our kind of battle mechanics such as they are. So now we have this shoot command, which when people walk over it, um, gives them a ranged weapon, kind of looks like a laser pistol. Um, and this is one of those um, time stop puzzle stages. So you are placing all your commands first before the people are moving. And uh, then you hit the power button and, and activate it. So here, this is just to show off the uh, strengths and weaknesses of the two different types of weapons that we have. We have these melee weapons. So yeah, at range, you want to you know stay far away and be shooting people. And when you get in close, uh, is hopefully is intuitive with the melee weapon, um, you're going to be much more, it's a much more powerful hit. And so here, our strategy didn't quite work out um, going straight at them because they uh, others there equipped with batons are going to overpower the formation that we had with our uh, ranged weapons. However. Uh, that's a nice example of where we want to use that uh, keep uh, re retry, keep commands, and play with different configurations. Um, we're not going to spoil how you do it in this stage, but uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different ways to finish this stage. Let's talk a little bit more about the action side of the action puzzle game that is humanity. So we have these stages where you more directly control the people, the sort of the follow Piper command. Yes. style via the follow command, exactly. And this stage right here is sort of like an old school auto scrolling level where you start this up and then lead the people onto this moving platform. And you have this sort of minefield of all these blocks in front of you and you have to path the people on this moving platform through this, this obstacle here. And what I'm doing here is sort of tightening up the group by circling around as the Sheba, they get into a really tight group here. This stage is teaching you grouping and then also you might notice those number switches as well, right? So you need to have yeah. a certain number of people to activate those. So you can lose some people here or there, um, but if you lose too many, you either can't get some of the optional extras or maybe not even be able to clear the final part of the stage. Yeah, and this level mixes things up a little bit later with those moving blocks that try to knock you off and mm -hmm. uh, if you're not timing things correctly they can really uh, be a problem gotta break a few eggs right that's is right that to make humanity is that what we're to saying rescue humanity absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah I, at times the game veers into more almost like a pure uh, platformer okay now some very late game uh, stuff that we've only really showed in the trailers not in the demo or anything but these are examples of the machines, as we call them. So um, things have happened in the story. Things have progressed between you and the others. Um, and now you have kind of a new uh, antagonist in these kind of monolithic 
blocks that are attacking you with their lasers. Um, there's some stealth mechanics here as you have to avoid their spotlights. You do eventually get uh, some machines on your side that you can control and use against them and their armies of automatons. Um, if you zoom in on these people, yeah, they're actually, these are not others or people. These are little uh, like interstellar, like monolithic robot people. Um, so, you know, using that follow command, now you have direct control over these machines and it almost becomes at times like a little mini arcade game. Um, but there are other more, you know, pure puzzle levels and uh, all different mixes of every, all the elements you've had up until now, just with this added X factor of the machines. Again, really like late in the uh, story mode of the game. All right, let's talk bosses. There bosses. Are <laughs> bosses in humanity, just like Boss. any video game. But since it's a puzzle game, they are a little bit different. Uh, the first couple are these sorts of tests of your knowledge, and they lean hard into the puzzle aspects of it. You know, did you learn the mechanics and can you apply them uh, in this sort of larger test? And then later on, we have this sort of more action-y bullet hell style uh, boss, like right here, where you are having the people follow you and you have to dodge uh, lasers and... Uh, boss movements more actively so you have to figure out the pattern without losing all of your people because if you get down to zero people following you uh, you have to retry the stage so enough about story mode let's talk user stages so this is our browser for all the user generated content all the stages made with our stage creator so when you first enter into user stages here we have our curated list these are kind of highlight levels that we uh, at Enhance on the community team think are worth checking out. This is going to be refreshed uh, very often. Then we have our regular browser, our full browser. This is a more friendly, simple Netflix or YouTube-like interface where you can see, you know, really quickly um, who made it, how many plays, how many favorites, the rating, and then an auto-generated difficulty based on you know what percentage of people have cleared it. If you choose the level, then you can see a little more detail. You can see all the tags that are associated with that level that you can then use to search by if you want, or you can see the uh, clear rate. You can report it, favorite it, etc. You can also do all that stuff after you finish playing the level, but going into some examples of user stages just to give you, and this is like not even scratching the surface, even just in our one week time limited demo, we got a lot of killer um, stages and we were really, really happy with the response. But so here's uh, Super Shiba Inu Bros. And this is something where somebody said, I'm going to just really explore the game mechanics, the platforming mechanics. And this is is looking easier than it is, but each one of these jumps is like basically the limit of what you can do as a jump. And here you're floating through the water in a clear stage. It's hard to even see where you are. Um, yeah, that's yeah, this a, is much more really focusing fun. on the action platform part of humanity, which I mm. think is an interesting angle for sure. Mm -hmm. And then here we have um, is it Escape the Pyramid, which is one of my favorite levels out of the whole demo where it's this layer cake of different puzzles that first part is a more uh straightforward block pushing it looks simple but it's actually kind of a cool little mind-bending thing and then you get down here to the next level and it's this like old school uh, arcade game almost like pac-man and then there's another one underneath that and each one when you finish that layer it removes to the next layer that level used mechanics and things that we didn't even realize we had in the game, which was really exciting to see. Yeah, and again, these are all created by users that we've you know, surfaced and curated to the top with these playlists and featuring that we're doing. So whenever you come back to the user stages browser, you are always going to find some quality content here. We're trying to surface the best, most challenging levels, so you'll get a lot of good and varied stuff stuff that's not only actiony but also artistic as well like this yeah. squirrel level 
that we're on right now. That's a part puzzle and part uh, artwork here. With I this. didn't even realize you could do this. I didn't even realize there was this. I solved that level a totally different way. That's I feel <laughs> so silly now and how I finished it. But yeah, this is actually not just art. This is a cool, uh, a really cool little like little uh, puzzle here. And yeah, like you say, CJ, like we're going to be working with the community and really curious, you know, the kinds of things that people want to have surfaced. Um, we want to have, you know, things like theme weeks and um, like contests and all kinds of, of fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely join like, our discord, join our discord and, and regularly check into user stages and see what's uh, what's going on there as that evolves. And finally, we have our stage creator, which is the place if if you're feeling imaginative to make your stage or make your own puzzles come to life. And it was a focus for the team to make this as easy as possible to use, make it really simple and intuitive. So when you first go into stage creator, you'll be walked through a tutorial uh, complete with videos teaching you how to set up your stage. And it walks you through setting a human gate and a goal. And then it kind of lets you free to create. You can let your imagination run wild. And we have all of these palettes of commands and different uh, tools that are used in the story mode that you can remix and use to your to your liking, however you want. The, yeah, the idea being as simple as possible. So like if you can, anybody can make a stage here. So in the, in the you know, tradition of like uh, a little big planet, all of the commands are always listed all the time. The interface is super simple. Like CJ said, we have this like interactive tutorial, but also all of these uh, tutorial videos as well. Um, from everything from basic commands to advanced techniques. But honestly, even mm -hmm. just jumping in there and messing around with it because all of the buttons are always labeled. It's very simple. We're really proud of how this how this turned out. Um, and yeah, yeah. Like, like CJ mentioned, it's very versatile. You could basically make almost any stage that we make in the game, minus the story cutscenes. Um, you can make machines are not going to be in there uh, at launch. We're actually holding those and going to have that um, launch a little later. But pretty much everything in the game, including timed hidden switches, things that move other things, um, linking things up, all the different backgrounds you can unlock. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, and I'm not usually the type of person that creates levels when a game has a uh, level editor, but I really love hopping into the humanity editor and playing around with the tools. Like it's, you usually hop in the sandbox and come up with something pretty cool. Mm. One thing we didn't mention in the um, user stages browser, but uh, affects that and this stage creator, you do have uh, ratings as a player and as a creator. So uh, to kind of further incentivize people to be playing and creating each other's levels. Um, yeah, every time you upload a level, or every time you play or solve, I should say somebody else's level, especially if you solve it with the goldies, you get a bonus. It's kind of like XP and you go up these levels and in those levels you unlock um, items that you can use, um, uh, items that were in the single player game, but you unlock them for use in the stage creator. So yeah, hopefully that's yeah. something people will get into. And during the demo period, there were some pretty tough levels that people <laughs> created, but you do, after you create a stage, have to complete it yourself to prove that it can be done. So right. if you are playing levels out of the user stages browser, you know at least one person has been able to finish it. Must be possible. Yeah, that's always a fun thing uh, that I know from other games, which is, oh, this this level has X many 5,000 plays and only, you know, 10 people have ever cleared it. I wonder what's going on here. So look forward to that. And yeah, I think that's mostly going to do it. Look forward to everything else, please, in humanity. May 16th, again, day one, PS Plus uh, tier two and up. Um, and we're just so excited for everyone in the PS Plus community, but also everyone in PlayStation, PS4, PS5, optional PSVR, optional PSVR 2, 
to get their hands on this game and start making stages and sharing them with each other um so yeah thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end of this video give yourself a gold star uh um, a goldie give a yourself goldie. a goldie give yourself a goldie star and we hope to see you starting may 16th PlayStation.